Hello everybody and welcome back to Quick Tips. Today I want to talk a little bit about generative AI in Express. Now, you might be using this tool already, but I bet there's a feature that you haven't realized in here. And that is the ability to go back and change what you've generated even after you've made a design. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go in to text to image and we're going to generate a coffee mascot character. I'm going to hit generate and we get a couple of different coffee characters here. I think I'm going to go with this one right here. Now with this character, let's say I want to go ahead and start editing this into an ad or into an Instagram post or something like that. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back here. I'm going to have that image selected. I'm going to go ahead and remove the background from it. So I'd have transparency there. Then I'm going to go ahead and turn this into more of an ad. I'm going to go to my media. Uh, in photos here, I'm going to have a coffee shop. I'm going to try to find that for a background. Let's find one that looks kind of nice here. Maybe I'll go with this one. I'm going to click on that image. I'm going to set it as the background. I have my coffee man in my coffee shop. Then I'm going to go ahead and add some other elements and fast forward until I get a design going. All right, that's not perfect, but we're gonna say that's good enough for this demo. And I've gotten this far into my piece and realized, oh, I really wanted a different coffee mascot for this. Maybe I don't like him, or my boss comes to me and says, oh, well, I wanted a coffee mascot with glasses, for example. Well, check this out. If I go and I click on my coffee mascot here, I go back to text to image, I can still change this. I can go right back in, I can still regenerate, and say coffee mascot character with glasses. And then hit generate. And it gives me some different coffee mascots with glasses. I can click on those, choose those, and decide on which one I like. Adjust the sizing a little bit, maybe scale it down a little bit, and modify it to fit to my piece. But again, I'm still using that generative AI, and I can always come back to that. And maybe I want to load more examples, try a different look for it, and see what other options I get when I generate it. This is a really great trick you can use because you're not set in stone. I can choose a different coffee cup. Even though I remove the background, it will process that. It will remove that background. And you can see here, I actually like this character a little bit better. I think they fit into the piece a little bit more. I can click on that character, go back. Maybe I want to flip that character so they're looking more at the ad itself instead of looking away from the ad. And now I have my character standing there on the table looking up at my ad and making it a little bit more impressive. Now that's about it for this week, but I can't wait to see you again next week for another quick tip.